Hey everybody, um, I had the time today to do one more review and um, I've been kind of looking to see you know what was new, what's been coming out and somebody told me about the new uh, Microsoft Security Essentials 2.0, no, you know the new beta and the interesting part was, now I don't remember, I haven't looked at the old video but in this version, the um, version what is that, 2.0.5 when I was looking at the settings, I kind of went through them and took a look at them, and I saw that they have this behavior monitoring here. Um, so I don't know if this was in the first one I tested, the first beta. Uh, like I said, I haven't went and looked back at the video yet, so I'm not 100% sure. But we'll uh, we'll see today. Um, kind of you know some of the things that uh, have improved on it and uh, it is fully updated I just updated I don't know 10 minutes ago or something like that so let's throw some quick links at it I don't want to make this into a real long test or anything like that these are all new links within the last uh, I don't know 12 hours or so Let's just see real quick here, just kind of give us a quick uh, idea of how much RAM usage and we have out of it. So let's see here. I know that's one of it, security. I'm not sure if that might be a service for it or not and that one might be a service for it too so either way I don't see there you go there's there's the main executable anti-malware service executable so you're still using a good 50 to 60 megs if you add the other ones if you add them all together still fairly high memory usage but let's see what happens here we'll start out with the first one here Looks like that one made it right through. Okay, it looks like it caught that one. Fake uh, AV, I think. So we will remove it. This is a, uh, I think this is a spammer. Yeah. This isn't per se um, a piece of malware, as more of a program to cause malware to other people, to cause spamming and things like that. wonder what language this is in. <laughs> okay, it looks like I caught that one. 
seems like the um, the remove function has sped up before it used to take a long time for it to apply its actions Windows firewall was asking for if I wanted to allow that program out I said yes and it looks like it hasn't caught anything yet so we'll keep going here okay caught that one that was a z-bot Okay, looks like that one was missed also. Okay, looks like it caught one of them. Let's see. Oh, looks like it caught a couple more here. Password stealer, backdoor backdoor, temporary internet files, and a process. So we're going to apply all the actions. keep going here okay, it wants me to send those to Microsoft and I'll do that and let's try the last one here Definitely have some definitely have some stuff running in memory. Okay, that was a process that it found. Backdoor. So we're gonna quarantine that. see what that does. It's unpacking some things to the desktop. in Russian but I have no idea what it's saying so that's all right we'll close it up here okay so now I'm going to open up Microsoft Security Essentials if I can something's taking a lot of the CPU I bet Yep, right there. Some traffic monitor. And I'm going to clean this infection out. And then I'm going to do a full system scan. So I will be back when the full system scan is done. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Um, I had to do a... Uh quick scan because after about 40 minutes in the full scan it wasn't progressing much so they still need to do a lot of work on the uh, scan engine their uh, on-demand scanning because 
it, it was just taking way too long. So I did a quick scan instead. And that says it found, didn't find anything. So now I'm going to grab my testing tools. I'm going to run CCleaner and then I'll run Malwarebytes. So I'll be back when Malwarebytes is done. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning and it found 13 things. Let's look and see what it found here. So we have a banker that right now is running in memory. So it's a piece of spyware. We have malware trace sitting in application app data roaming. Backdoor bot in there too. A couple of registry key changes associated with that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Trojan, Malware Trace, Trojan, couple registry keys that got changed with a Zbot, Zbot file, and the registry key change that is probably associated with this Trojan. So it definitely let in a lot of stuff. Now because we have this memory process, I'm going to remove these and restart. And um, when I'm done restarting, I'm going to run Super Anti Spyware. So I'll be back with the results from Super Anti Spyware. Okay, guys, so it looks like Super Anti Spyware found another malware trace left over in the registry keys. So I'm going to remove that, but I'm not going to reboot. And let's see, what else do I want to scan with? I have some time, so I'm going to leave Hitman Pro for last. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to debut a uh, little scanner that I found. So give me one second to get the link for you guys. Okay, so if you go to this link here, let me, that exact same link right there, you get to a Russian website, which will automatically, if you wait a second, it will pop up, or you can click on this uh, button right here, and what you'll download is you'll download uh, the Node32, so it's ESET, um, on-demand scanner. Now, this one is a little bit different than the one you can download off of the, um, if you click on that link, it should start it. it uh, it's updated every day. It's about 17 megs, so it's not too bad. Now, uh, what this scanner is, it's different than the online one because it doesn't um, install anything on your computer. You just run it and it gives you options to do different things so let me show you here real quick you just run it you can scan all files or it can do default and here's your options you can do different things here you can scan um, different actions you can scan memory it has all these different options so I'm going to delete anything So we will set everything to um, to clean. So now you know what? I'm going to leave this the way it is for now. Um, the only one I'm going to change is files to delete. And then you can scan and clean. So I'll be back with the results from this, see if it finds anything when it's done. OK, so it finished doing the quick scan. It took 2 minutes and 28 seconds scanned 16,000 files and it found two threats. If we go to, you can see I'm right there. The variant of Win32 and another variant of, uh, of a PPO Trojan and I deleted both of them. So as you can see that's a quick little uh, scanner that I found and uh, seems to work real well. So last but not least I'm going to run Hitman Pro. And I'm going to be back because I'm running short on time here with the results from this. Okay, and here's the results from um, Hitman Pro. Found that mintray.exe sitting on the desktop as a Trojan from Icarus. And I just found some tracking cookies that were left over. So, uh, as you can see, they still have a ton of work left to do on uh, MSC. I actually shut it down so scans would go a little bit faster. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this review, um, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care, and have a good night.